please, I would like to give you some uses of go leave a little school before we move forward. Sorry. Now, in your textbook, most physics textbook, you are, you are being told that go leave is only used to test charges. Do you understand? Now, the use of go leave supersedes the testing of charges. So, what are the uses? Number one, please write. Number one is that go leave electroscope is used to test charges. That's number one. Number two, number one is that it is used to test charges. That is number one. Number two, it is used to measure the quantity of charges in a body. It is used to measure the quantity of charges in a body. Number three. It is used to measure the insulating and the conducting property of a body. It is used to measure the insulating and conducting property of a body. It is used to measure, I'm still repeating number three. It is used to measure the insulating or conducting property of a body. Now, in induction, we use induction in charging the electrophorus non electrophorus is a device used to store charges we are still in induction no you, you, your mind is not there i said i want to go back to tell you the uses of go leave electroscope and i've given you three uses of go leave electroscope and then i said let's go back to induction now induction is used in charging of electrophorus. And we say that electrophorus is a device used to store charges. Please. You know, a, a, a jump question is very simple. They always ask you questions about 
functions of a device, functions of this, what is the use of this, and all these things. So all these devices try to know the uses. Do you understand? Uh, go leave a electroscope is not used to store charges. Please. Electrophorus is used to store charges. And in charging and electrophorus, we use what we call induction by merely bringing a charged body towards it. Now, look up. Electrophorus is a metal plate standing on an insulating base. This is the insulating base. Now this is the metal plate. Now, if I want to charge positively or negatively, you know, if you want to charge it positively, you have to bring a negatively charged body near it. Do you understand? Let me repeat it again. If you want to charge it positively, you bring a negatively charged body near the electrophorus. I repeat the third time. If you want to charge it positively, you have to bring a negatively charged body near the plate of an erythrophorus. Now, look at this. Now, this is a charging body. The charging body is negatively charged. Now, let me ask you one question. I don't know whether I will put money again. Now, why, why is it that whenever we want to show a charging body, we normally draw the charges outside instead of inside. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, you see this thing. Now, why wouldn't I draw it like this? Why wouldn't I draw the charges to be inside and so answer. Can somebody give me the answer? You are raising your hand. Uh, please listen. No, there's no light charge here now. <laughs> okay, okay. That's an attempt. That's an attempt, but the, the answer is all correct. <laughs> Can somebody help us? Okay, try. Please listen. <laughs> Somebody is laughing already. <laughs> okay, okay, why are you laughing? Eh? <laughs> Can somebody help us? So, no, 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 nobody among all this, almost, when they were in Meru Church, that person were very big members. The offering every Sunday, organized to every 200,000. Eh? Okay, try. What do you mean? These are charges already now. Well, uh, listen. Listen. 
The answer is just simple and short. Charges resides outside. Simple. Charges resides outside. Charges. If you have a body, the charges in that body resides outside. Do you understand? Charges don't stay inside. The charges on the body reside outside, and the density is much at the sharpest point on that body. Charges reside outside, and they concentrate more on the sharper parts of that body. That means if I have something like this, If I have something like this and charges are resting on this body, the concentration of the charges will be more at the sharp ends. More than the other parts. Now, not only the charges are found outside the body, the concentration is more on the sharper part of that body. Please don't fail this question in any exam. Please. Don't fail the question. Because they will draw the diagram. You know, many of us are professionals in exams now. They will draw the diagram and give you A, B, C, D. And now ask you, which point we have the greatest concentration of the charge. Now the answer is that charges concentrate more on the sharpest part of the body. So in that diagram, whatever the diagram will look like, just match the, the point that is pointed very sharp, that is where the charges will concentrate more. Charges don't reside inside the body. Charges don't reside in char inside the body. Charges don't reside inside the body. Rather, charges are found at the outer part of the body and concentrate more on the sharpest point in the body. And lastly, before we end everything on electrostatic. Now, if I want to charge this body, now, please look up. There should be no noise making. Once I bring this body near the electrophorus, the positive charges will come here and the negative charges will move to the other end indicating repulsion. Like charges repairs, unlike charges attract. So the positive charges will come here and the negative charges will move to the other side. At this point, you act. Remember the principle of eating. The body will still be there. You now act. Act is connecting to the ground and the electrons will flow to the ground. The first one is to bring the body near the charging, uh, the, the neutral body. Don't touch it. You don't need to touch it. Just bring it close. You, you want to charge by induction. Bring it close. Now the, the, the opposite charge will come closer, indicating attraction. The same charge will move to the other end, indicating repulsion. The electron will flow to the ground. The electron will flow to the ground. 